I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2023-1900 MMK Alta travel trailer by East to West. This is a double axle single slide unit, uh, rear bath slash kitchen with a front living room uh, slash bedroom. So you'll see the floor plan here in just a second. Uh, 1900 MMK, I'll give you the exact numbers as far as the weight and the length here in just a second. So 1900 MMK. Our exact weight on this unit is 5,422 pounds, and our exact length is 25 feet on the dot from tip to tip. All right, so that's the specs of it. Uh, quick, just pan, I'm gonna zoom out to my fisheye lens, there we go. At the front, Murphy bed, I will show you that in a second. Don't let it deter you if you've already got your mind set against it. Those of you that like them, you know why I like them too. Uh, we're gonna look at that. We're gonna look, here's our big slide in the middle of our living room area. And then at the back is our uh, kitchen slash bathroom. So we're going to start at the back first. And our bathroom's here to the right. Uh, sliding door, pocket door. To close that off, that we don't have to deal with a swinging door out into the kitchen while somebody's uh, in the kitchen itself. So as far as the bathroom is concerned, really nice uh, plastic surround here for our shower. Good sized shower as well. Um, we have shelving built into it also at the top. Big skylight in here for good natural light coming in. Um, our soft door that Alta uses, which I like, conserve space. And then I think they did a really good job with the medicine cabinet here and storage below. We got a foot flush toilet. We got a sink countertop with storage on both sides of it that I think, again, for the size of the unit is really nice. Uh, they were smart, put the sink to the left instead of trying to push it there, which would push all this out. So we got a, a sink there, outlet, and then a double medicine cabinet, which is really awesome. Um, for a unit of this, really for any size travel trailer, but especially for a unit of this size, uh, that's a lot of storage there. So that is the bathroom. I'm gonna go back to the front. I wanna show you the kitchen because this is probably the coolest part of it. Um, the countertop space is incredible in this unit. And again, especially for a 25 footer. Um, I don't know if that's a, a 10 foot cabinet, a countertop, I don't know. It's very, very long there. Um, lots of different storage options here. So fridge at the back this little nook uh, you've got outlets so you know probably if i if it was mine at least we'd be making that the coffee maker instant pot uh pressure cooker all that different stuff would go back to air fryer uh, kind of back in that corner all sorts of different cabinets and drawers and things of that nature up here and down down below four drawers right here so a lot of different storage options as far as that is concerned stove and oven we have a three burner stove we have a glass cooktop uh, which I like because between that and these two, if you're not going to use them, you've got one big countertop here. So I love the big window there too. It's just, it feels really, really open, especially with the white countertop reflecting that. Uh, big sink, again, two sink covers, pull out, pull down faucet. Um, a lot of storage down here below as well. They put an accent light strip below. Really big drawers here. So I think the kitchen to me is the, the coolest part of it uh, with all the storage in it. And then TV there, um, sound bar. The TV's directly across from our uh, theater seats. So those do recline. Uh, that's an option here. Those do recline. And you've got cup holders in the middle, storage. Um, really big windows in that slide, as you can see. They, they did a really good job putting large windows. I like the window treatments running vertically. A lot of companies leave that off. It makes it look really open and, and barren. Uh, blackout night shades on this. Uh, a little pantry, more storage here. So uh, yeah, I think for the size of the unit, Personally, it's got good storage. So I would call that my pantry there. Ducted air on this unit, which is uh, not the norm for a unit or the standard, I should say, for this size. A lot of times we see just a free blow air, but this is ducted throughout uh, for better airflow. Double strands of LED lights as well, which I like. Just more lights than, than some brands do. Um, notice no carpet. They have the woven, uh, not the woven, my goodness, they have vinyl floor on the uh, slide as well with a an edge that's made on there to, to unravel. So I like that. Uh, no, no carpet to contend with. And then here at the front, here's our um, couch slash bed. So I'm gonna actually set my, my gimbal down here so I can show y'all how this works. Been doing this lately, so bear with me. All right, so this itself, if, if this is how you had it set up, you've got footrests that come out. I just smacked myself in the shin if you saw that. But these both come out on both sides. You know, if you want to kick your feet up, you've got that. If you want to utilize the Murphy bed, um, it's pretty simple. I mean, this just folds down to get out of the way. 
And then you've got two latches here. Okay, if you're spring-loaded latches, pull them. And this starts to fold down. I just grab this, let it get a 90, put this down. And our mattress is going to come down. That's your bed. Um, a lot of people that use this, once they get to the campground, they'll put it in this position and won't, won't put it back up unless we have rain or guests and you need an extra bed. So I like a Murphy bed because it lets me have a shorter unit and have flexibility. If I want to leave it in the bed position, if it's just a couple's coach, I'm leaving this thing down and I'm only using the theater seats. But if you got guests with you or it starts raining, you can put this back up. So I think it's simple. I think sometimes people get overwhelmed just by the idea of having to do something like this, but it's very simple. Fold this back and then push it up. Those lock into place in your back. So it's, again, I, I think personally, obviously I do it all the time, so I'm probably biased, but I don't think it's that hard. Um, I think Alta did a really good job designing theirs. You've got on both sides of the bed slash couch um, nightstands or end tables. Both of them had USB ports and 110 outlets, as you can see. Little nooks there, that'd be nice for when you're using as a bed, you know, to set things on. Uh, you do have more hanging storage here if you need to use it that way. On both sides. And then there are lights um, that are for that bedroom area, so to speak, on a switch on their own. So that's the inside of this. I think that covers it pretty well. Oh, our monitor panel. It's right here. Forgot about that. Slide switch, awning switch, some of the lights, uh, water heater gas, water pump, and monitor panel located right there. All right. Entry door. A couple things to note here. We do have the step above steps on it there. Alta does the little storage box there in place of the standard steps, which I like. Um, what was I going to? Oh, the window. Yeah. It's prepped for the thin shade. If you want to put that little shade that goes in it, you can put that in there. Uh, big grab handle here at the door also. They use Asdell siding. Um, if you're if you're one of those that's a stickler for that, it does have Asdell. Um, dual axles. We've got Goodyear Endurance tires on both those axles as well. Uh, all electric jacks. So four electric stab jacks and the inner electric tongue jack. That's a drop frame storage, which we'll get to in a second. There's that big window in the kitchen. Outside speakers. Uh, TV mount. You can put that there. You've got... Outside hookups for the TV, if I can get it open. And then you've got an outlet as well. You've got an outside refrigerator. This is an enclosed underbelly. As you can see down there, there's your electric jacks. There's a quick connect for gas. One of the things I like about these is the construction. This is a bonded rear wall. This is not a free home fiberglass wall like I see in some products. Um, I think that's a good quality, quality build option there. A spray port at the back. Dual gas electric water heater there. Spare tire, which is a Goodyear Endurance tire as well, already on it. Uh, you've got a ladder already on the back as well. Light here at a termination point. So there's a termination point for the... Uh, let's see if they're all right here. Yeah, it looks like they are. I can see my both of my valve handles right there. These are remote valves. Um, so there's our termination point there. Attachable power cord, black tank flush. There's your furnace. Uh, I like the fact that it's a rack and pinion slide. So it's easy to work on if I have to. I can adjust it, the bell housings on that end, and then I can crank it in manually if, if for some reason something failed. So I like to rack and pinion slide myself, just from a service side. And then here at the front, um, on your compartment doors, I like the fact they have magnetic latches, metal slam latches, and then the drop frame storage. So again, this is much taller than a lot of travel trailers because it's drop frame. Um, motion sense, sensor light on this side, as you can see, they do a good job just making it neat and hanging their uh, the handles there. There's an aluminum frame, very evident at, at this point. Um, right here, a lot of different things going on. You've got a hatch that your hoses and cords can come up through. Fresh water fuel, uh, city water connection, solar controller, because it does have a solar panel on it. Uh, another spray port, battery disconnect, TV hookups, front cap lights, an outlet, and a motion sensor light. So a whole lot going on. It's just neat. It looks like a fifth wheel the way it's organized like a docking center, which I like myself. Front cap, uh, there's those accent lights running on both sides of that black portion. Dual LP bottles, electric tone jack as well. And that is, that is it. Oh, big electric awning. I think I already said that, but I can't remember. So, um, 2023 1900 MMK Alta by East to West. Click the link in the description. It'll take you to our website for more pictures and information. Or call or text us. Uh, our family would be happy to help you. Thank you for looking. Have a great day.